Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Blackburn Rovers. Two games left. Just two single games left of the season. Today we will play Preston and who's the final team? I don't even know. Uh, Ipswich. So we've got a local derby in Preston and we've got Ipswich who are 21st who are fighting for relegation. Preston already relegated. But the real story here is not about who we've got to play. It's about who Huddersfield and who Watford have to play. So let's have a look at Watford first. They will play Colchester, who are 19th, and then Brighton. We need both of those teams to win. And it's a tall order. Brighton could beat them. Colchester, maybe not. But they did just get battered 3-0 by Fulham. Oh, I just... Oh my word, Sheffield Wednesday may have done us a huge favour. The other thing we need is Huddersfield to lose their final two games of the season. They've lost one of them. I didn't even realise they must have played yesterday. So, if we win today, we go within three points of Huddersfield. If Huddersfield then lose to Wolves, which is highly likely, and we beat Ipswich, we will get promoted. Oh my word, it might actually happen. As I mentioned earlier, Preston are already relegated, so this should be a somewhat a walk in the park. We've had a little bit of a problem. Jamal, as you can see there, got injured. And uh, Danny Salvagione is now unhappy because he wants to move to a bigger club. And I couldn't tell him, let's wait for two games and let's see maybe whether we'll be the bigger club. Because if we get promoted, he'll get a huge pay bump. Luckily for me, the rest of the team um, all agreed with me. There was about four players that didn't agree and it was like uh, Cyprian Doggeroo and some sort of fringe players. So... We're a lot of the players are on my side. I don't want to lose him. He scored 32 goals this season. Starting lineup we're going to go for then Suarez and goal. Simpson, Bulistics, Cisse and Hamish Falconer. Nciala and Montoya are the two midfielders. Todd and Fenton are the wingers. Fenton is actually training up to be an inside forward and he's picking up very, very quickly. Salvagione and Paul Dean are going to be the strikers. I don't know whether Salvagione is going to play the whole game. As I said earlier, Preston are already relegated, so. This should be a walk in the park, and because we are five wins in the last five games, we should just keep it going. I want to get... Can I get this up here? How do I get them up? Is it that one? I want to see... Actually, no. We'll put them here, in the middle. Okay, we've got a highlight instead, just so I'm trying to do stuff. Souza's had a go. We're 1-0 bloody down to Preston. He was offside. Okay, Mark, Mark Flickroff was offside. Right, pause it there. Let's sort this out. So Watford are playing Colchester... They're 1-0 down after four minutes, and the player who scored, he's mine. Musa Juru is my player, and oh, Musa, you secret agent. Simpson with a free kick to Clive Todd. Montoya, just outside the centre circle. All the way across, Fenton's not going to get there. Patterson's header forward. Oak Dina's not going to get there. Come on, this is a bit scrappy at the moment. Montoya. Montoya forward to Fenton. Fenton through to Oak Dina. Go on, Paul. Unlucky Paul. JJ J and goal makes a save. Falconer with a free kick. 26 minutes in. He's gone for goal. Clipped the top of the bar. We need a goal. 33 minutes. Simpson's throw. Clive Todd. I struggled to say throw then. Simpson gets it back. Bula sticks. Montoya. Montoya the Costa Rican. I think he's Costa Rican. Salvagione. Salvagione, Salvagione, the stroppy American. Montoya gets the ball back. Oak Dina. Fenton's in front of him. Fenton's making a run. Been tackled. But no, Fenton does get the ball. In the middle, Salvagione gets his 33rd goal of the season. And even though he's thrown his toys out of the pram, he's still getting the job done. It's three points. There is three points in it now. I'm keeping an eye on this score. It's still 1-0 to Colchester. Half time. We are 1-0 up. Colchester, 1-0 up. Musa Juru, you are potentially an absolute hero and you've done nothing at our club. We still need Huddersfield and or Watford to lose their final game of the season as well. But if they... I mean, Watford and Huddersfield, that the chance of one of those two teams losing their final game is actually quite possible. And, oh, you are having a laugh. Marco Compan, he's also our player. He's bloody done it as well. Secret agents playing for Colchester. 70 minutes in, we're not seeing a lot happening here. 
I would like a second goal. A second goal would be very, very helpful because that will mean we are somewhat comfortable in our lead. Ten minutes left to play. Right, let's do some subs and do a bit of time wasting. Okdina off for Damianov. Damianov and Savage are only going to swap over. Um, what else, what else, what else? I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to change too much because we're, we're comfortable. 82nd minute, Simpson with a throw. Clive Todd crossed in, deflected. Simpson has a go. Fenton's at the back, it's cleared. Debrun's head forward. And Siala gets it. Montoya, Damianov. Damianov has a go from the edge of the area. And Andrea Damianov makes it 2-0. 83rd minute, seven minutes left to play of normal time. This could be three points in the bag for us. It should be three points in the bag for us. And it is going down to the last day. Colchester are 3-0 up. Colchester are 3-0 up against Watford. Fenton with the ball. We've got a minute left to play. This should be a victory for us. And oh my word, we we are not going to do this, are we? After all the struggles, all the struggles, are we going to actually get promoted? I mean, we, there's still a lot to do. There's a lot of work to do. But it seems like all the stars are aligning and everything's going our way. Patterson's going to get the ball, going to cross it in. It's not the best cross. It's a goal kick. There's 20 seconds left to play. That should be it. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm a little bit nervous right now. A 2-0 victory is enough to pass within touching distance. That was not a very good team talk, Sam. Secret agents Muta Juru and Marco Compan have potentially given us an automatic promotion spot. Goal difference is in our favour. Goal difference is very much in our favour. All we need them to do is lose one of those two teams to lose their final game and us to win and we're promoted. Here we are then. Final games of the season, and we are playing Ipswich, 21st place Ipswich. Watford and Huddersfield both playing away, both playing against two sides who are actually very good, Brighton and Wolves. We can finish in any one of the top three positions right now, depending on how results go. As long as we win, we do our job and hope that Brighton and or Wolves can do theirs. Even better for us, Ipswich's form is woeful and ours is excellent. That's very good. Realistically, I'm not going to be paying attention to our game. If we go 1-0 up, I'm kind of going to forget about our game and just keep an eye on the other ones. It's going to be the same starting lineup as the previous match. So Suarez in goal, Simpson, Bulistic, Cisse and Falconer, Nciala and Montoya, Todd and Fenton, Salvagione and Paul Oakdina. And oh, okay, I'm so nervous. I'm so ne We've been here for six years. This is our sixth year with Blackburn. The first year, I think we got promoted from League One. So we've had five years in the championship. And this could be the final game in the championship for us. I just want Brighton and Wolves to win. If Brighton and... Uh, I shouldn't say this, but if Brighton and Wolves win, we go up as champions if we win. Montoya with a ball, 40 seconds on the clock, and there's a highlight. And Siala takes it out wide, runs it towards the corner flag, whips in the cross low, Salvagione's there, on the volley, oh, Dina's rattled the bar, Falcon has flicked it back in, he's going to get another try, no he's not. Six minutes in, and Ipswich have some form of attack, Inciala cuts the ball out, runs it clear, out to Salvagione, the American, takes it out wide, he's been, he's been fouled, that is not a foul, Ripley's cleared it, Hugma collects it for Ipswich, ball forward, Cisse's going to get there. Montoya. Montoya in the middle to Nciala. Nciala's got a couple of players out wide. Falconer is one. Hamish Falconer, the Scottish fullback. Oakdina's at the front, collects the ball. Clive Todd, it's a wonderful save from Connor Ripley, and we've got a corner. We didn't get a corner. We're not having a corner. Other games, no goals so far between Huddersfield and Watford. Well, not between them in either of their games. Oh, Huddersfield losing. Huddersfield are actually losing. They are losing to Wolves. We've got a throw on. Falconer. 30 minutes played. Montoya collects the ball. He's been tackled. Ronan gets it clear. If we don't win our game, I'm going to be so angry. Simpson and Ciala. Todd, who's been injured. Oakdina gets tackled. Ronan clears it. Cissé is going to collect the ball. Oh, come on. Come on, just get a goal. Just a 1-0 victory. I would take a scrappy 1-0. Fenton in the middle to Ciala. Falconer's made a run. Montoya gets it now. Falconer collects. Where are we going to go? Fenton. Fenton into Salvagione. Plays it out wide to Falconer. Headed forward. Fenton crossed in. Salvagione. Go on, Danny, you hero. We're up into second place. 
We are in second place on the final game of the season. It actually says it there on everything. I'm really nervous now. Watford are still drawing as well. If Watford go a goal behind, we will move to the top of the table. It's half time and Joseph Manala has just... Well, it's 2-1. Manala scored and then Kim Han-Gil pulled one back. Joe Rankin Costello. You're a hero as well. What's the Watford score? Still 0-0. Nil -nil. We are... We're not in the driving seat by any means, but we've got our goal. I am so nervous. My heart is beating so quickly and I know it's just a computer game, but... I've, it's been so long. It's been so long. So many near, near times. And it's not guaranteed yet. We are at the hour mark. And there's still been no goals, I don't think, in the Watford game. Oakdina, Fenton. Oakdina gets it back. Nsiala. Nsiala, where are you going to go? He's been tackled by Davies. Not like this. That's a really long name. Plays it forward. Simpson cuts it out. Are we going to break again? Todd, who's still on the pitch for some reason, controls it, collects the ball as well. Todd, across to Fenton. Fenton's ball forward to Oakdina. Salvagione's at the back post if he can find him. Crossed in, finds him at the front. Inciala's going to get a chance. Todd, it's cleared. Simpson's collecting it. Oh my word, what's happening? Come on, Brighton, score a goal. Wolves are 3-1 up. Get in, Wolves. 70 minutes on the clock. Todd is coming off. Kierkegaard is going to come on. Brighton. Just Brighton, please. Please, Brighton, get a goal. In Ciala with a corner. Whips in. Bula Sticks doesn't win the header. Salvagione is going to get the ball. Kierkegaard just come off the bench, been tackled. Simpson heads it forward, though. Montoya. Fenton. Fenton's taken out wide. There's 20 minutes left. Crossed in. Oakdina's going to get there. Hopefully, no, he doesn't. Fenton gets the rebound. Fenton's going to have another chance. Can he whip it in? He does. Salvagione's there. It's 2 0. We should have done our job. We should have done our job now. Let's just not concede any goals. And let's keep an eye. Come on, Brighton. Please, Brighton. Please, Brighton. Seven minutes left to play. Spittle. Edge of the area. They've had a go. They've hit it just wide. It's still 0-0 in the Brighton game. It's still 0-0. Five minutes left to play. What's it? What's the, the Huddersfield game? Where are they? They're 3-1 down. Okay. Brighton. Brighton still haven't scored. We're into injury time. We are into injury time. There's 10 seconds left. It looks like we are going to go up in second place unless Brighton can sneak a winner right at the end, which is unlikely. Have we done it? Have we actually done it? Please. I mean, I'm celebrating there. You can't really see me. What's happened? What has actually happened? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! It's taken five years. It's taken five whole years. But we've finally done it. On goal difference. Oh, yes! I'm even happy that I don't need to go through the playoffs. I'm sat here in shock. I'm actually sat here in shock. I've got goosebumps, the lot. Oh, we've done it. We've flippin' done it. This is the best piece of news I have seen in this entire Blackburn save ever. We've won promotion to the Premier League. We are back where we belong. Hopefully, Salvagione doesn't have a strop and still wants to leave. Secret agent Musa Juru's gone and twisted his ankle. I don't care. You did your job, my friend. We've got a transfer budget of £37 million. I don't know what to do with that, because I personally don't think we really need to buy a huge amount of players. We've got a transfer budget of £37 million. I've had a couple of minutes to let it sink in, and it still hasn't. It still has not sunk in. We are promoted to the Premier League. We've got the end of season awards that are coming up. Danny Salvagione scored probably about 65 goals for us this season. Players inducted into the overall best 11 is just Ivan Bulger Basic. No, no, it is Danny Salvagione. He has to be in the overall 11. Apparently not, though. Player of the year, Salvagione. Goal of the season, Salvagione. Signing of the season, Mike Kierkegaard, apparently. Salvagione, also Young Player of the Year. And look at the stats there. 35 goals and 17 assists. That, that is a ridiculous season. That, 33 and 14 just in the league. Let's have a look at this goal of the season then against Sheffield United. Let's see if I remember it. Simpson with the ball on the right-hand side. Bulger Basic plays it forward. Salvagione, Nciala takes it from him. From the edge of the area, just rockets it into the top corner. I don't remember that goal. But it's a pretty decent finish. Season review. Blackburn had been expected to be in the running for a playoff place, but performed even better than expected in securing promotion to the Premier Division. 
never get tired of hearing that. It was a season of unlikely yet jubilant success for Rovers, who got off to a tremendous start in August that propelled them into second place and provided them with a platform to go on and secure promotion. Thank you, joe.co.uk. Squad dynamics, everybody quite clearly is over the moon, and if they're not, they probably shouldn't be at the club. Next season, what are we going to do next season? Europa League? Champions League? Right, uh, what do we do? Right, lots of people don't want to see him leave. Um, <laughs> where are we... Realistically, we're in a good position to avoid relegation. We have to go for that. Yes, good. That is the exact reaction, apart from all of those people. Why did my entire first 11 hate it? I think that might be a bug. Pre-season, I mean, you're, you're going to get six weeks of pre-season. It's our first season back in the Premier League in how long... How long has it been? How long... Blackburn were relegated in 2011-2012, have not been back since. They will return for the 2027-2028 season. Oh, and I'm in charge. I'm I'm going to get relegated. I'm going to get sacked, aren't I? Next season is certainly not going to be easy. Thank you very much for watching this season of Football Manager 2018 with Blackburn Rovers. We've done it. We've finally flippin' done it. Danny Salvagione has to be the hero of the save so far. 33 goals, 14 assists. Top average rating in the league as well. Join me next time when we will try and survive in the Premier League. It's not going to be easy. Not at all. Mm-hmm.